This episode of Android Q&A is brought to you by Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash authority to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Welcome back to Android Q&A. My name is Jason. This is where we try and answer your most pressing Android questions. Like, if you were stranded on a remote island full of zombies, which system on a chip would you take with you? The Tegra K1 or the Snapdragon 805? Well, I've uncovered some goodies that will help you stay equipped to kill some zip. Here we go. First question comes from Vagard, where he says, which system on a chip do you like most? So of course, after CES, there was a lot of hoopla about the Tegra K1's 192, count them, a whopping 192 cores. Very impressive indeed. And after Tom's hardware put out an initial bench testing indicating that yes, this system on a chip outperformed anything currently on the market. But of course, Qualcomm did not take those claims laying down. Qualcomm said, no, 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 NVIDIA, your so-called benchmarks are a little bit disingenuous as those tests do not have any real world mobile use case scenarios yet. But Qualcomm did put on a impressive demo themselves. I thought this was really cool. Now the Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 combines four Crate 450 CPU cores and a brand new Adreno 420 GPU. And with a GPU heavy focus, Qualcomm was more than eager to show off a bunch of games running Snapdragon 805 tablets at the show. These tablets were running 2560 by 1600 and had no issues delivering smooth, playable frame rates regardless of the content. Now it should be said here with a big caveat that neither of these system chips have been tested at scale in a real world environment. It is fair to say that they are a big step up from their own previous generations. It's also fair to say that there's a big emphasis on graphics for all you mobile gamers. Moving on on how to find out if your mobile device is USB on the go compatible. Jagadish says, Jace, can you tell me if my phone is compatible with USB on the go, please tell me, I really need to know. Yes, Jagadish, you can go to this link right here and you can see all the lists of mobile devices that are supported by USB on the go. Check it out and let me know how it goes. Moving on to another question about batteries. You guys sure love your battery talk. Marguez Washington asks, what's the difference between lithium ion and lithium polymer battery of the same capacity? Little history break here, but did you know that lithium ion batteries go way back to 1912, but did not become popular until Sony adopted it in 1991? Lithium ion batteries have high densities and cost less than lithium polymer batteries. In addition, they don't require priming when first used and have a low self discharge. Lithium batteries do suffer from aging, even when not in use. And of course, in the rare case, lithium ion batteries have been known to go poof. On the other hand, lithium polymer batteries can result in credit card thin designs while still holding relatively good battery life. In addition, lithium polymer batteries are very lightweight and have improved safety. However, these batteries will cost more to manufacture and have a worse energy density than lithium ion batteries. Kelvin asks, how do I change an app drawer view list instead of a grid list? Now, for those of you who don't know what Calvin and I are talking about, Calvin wants to be able to take this view on his phone and change it to this view. Now, Calvin, I found an app in the Google Play Store called App Drawer of all things, and it allowed you to do that and many other customizations. Calvin, please try that out and tell me in the comments below how it works. I haven't tried it myself. Thanks for watching Android peeps. I just wanted to point out that I know that many of you have questions both on Twitter and in the comments that I have not answered either in the comments or in the show. And I apologize for that. I can't possibly get to all of them, but we have decided we're going to double the Q&A shows per week next month because there is so much demand for it and we shall see how that goes. Connect with me on Twitter or Google Plus. I'd love to chat with you. Don't forget about my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the tech ninja, Kevin. I shall see you next week on Android Q&A.